Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Starting. To, there we go. Hello. Hello, <laughs> everybody. Thank you all so much for stopping by. A nice little uh, chilled out Saturday stream. You know, not usually. We usually hit the late night, but we wanted to kind of do something a little bit earlier in the day because I know everyone has different things that they're doing every day and things like that. So we wanted to change it up. Um, thank you guys all so much for coming. Everyone who's already in here, I know everyone's filing in. Everyone's getting them notifications, doing my doing their thing. But a fun <laughs> thing that we have is we actually have my man JP's premiere on Twitch. He hasn't done it before. So welcome, JP. I'm so happy I got you to actually commit to a date. <laughs> yeah, you've been trying. <laughs> But yeah, welcome. I'm so happy to hear. I want to also give a shout out earlier. I saw Vinyl popped in. He's a new customer and he hosted us. Thank you so much. Dimitri, thank thanks for stopping by. Vicer, Nintendo Fan 420, and Maverick. Thank you guys all so much for coming. It's wonderful to see you guys. JP's a busy man. Awesome to see him on here. It's true. Yeah. He thank is. He, oh, I'm going to get him on Super RPG Friends one of these days. One of these days. <laughs> I know. Every time I, I want to come on, and even like now, I'm just thinking, all right, I scheduled early in the week, I'm good, and then just life keeps happening, and time escapes me, and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, how, how do you get so busy? I definitely don't want to be this busy, but <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. It's great to see everyone. Thank you so much, Nintendo Fan 420 If I'm looking down, that's just because I'm looking at my phone, so I don't miss any of the chat, but I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I think what Frank has been putting together and Barry as well on the previous Twitch streams, I think is amazing. So it's, it's so great to be able to just, you know, be here with everybody. Thank you. Yeah. It, it, it's so fun getting to actually like interact live with everybody and stuff like that. And it's so cool to show people these games that we all have already fallen in love with. That's one of the things people, someone was like, like, man, you guys really like all the games you guys have done so far. And I'm like, yeah, that's why we did them. Cause we love these games. Like, there's a bit of a process, you know. Not every single game that we look at makes the uh, makes the cut. It's really something that goes through a scrupulous process, as JP oh, knows. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, one of the things that we try to do with all any release that we're looking at is we always want the majority consensus to to love the game. So we try and get as many codes as possible. We all play it, you know, in depth, and then we have discussions. And sometimes it's very easy, like you know, something like Cathedral. We play for a minute. We go, oh, we love this game gotta sign it and then there's other times where we're playing and some of us really love it some of us are kind of lukewarm a little bit so you know it's it's a difficult process but we try and get the whole team involved and it makes for a lot of fun discussions it gets us to play a lot of games that maybe we normally wouldn't they wouldn't be in our genre or, or something that we would normally you know get attracted to but overall it's been a lot of fun and definitely with all of our releases i can confidently say they've all been my favorite games so I'm happy to see our library growing with these amazing titles. Now, you actually 100%ed uh, Cathedral, didn't you? That's, yeah, a, that, was, that's a big, uh, when I was looking through the screenshots on Steam and stuff like that, I saw a lot of, uh, a lot of 98s, a lot of 97s, <laughs> but 100% didn't see a lot of that. So that's really impressive. I know every single time that you've posted any kind of little video or something, it's, it's you getting some secret that I didn't even know existed. I'm like, wait a minute, what? You could break that block? Are you kidding me? But I think that's kind of the beauty. Uh, it, it just there really are treasures in every freaking corner of that game. It's amazing how well hidden and well designed all those levels are to be filled with those things. I mean, I will say it's one of those cathedrals. Just one of those games where you really want to jump on every single block and slash at every single you know um, brick on the walls and whatnot because there's always a secret. And what's interesting about this game is that you don't really know your progression percentage until you finish the game. So a little spoiler, when you finish the game, you know, credits roll, and then it shows you how many of the armor pieces you found, how many of the hearts you got. And I got to the point where I thought I 100 percented it, and I finished, and I was missing, I think, one armor piece. And, you know, we'll get to it eventually, maybe not on today's stream, but the, the final boss is, is super difficult. I have no idea how you even beat it without getting all the other attributes. But when I finished and I finally beat it, I go, oh my gosh, I, I missed one piece. It was like 98%. And I went back and it took me a number of tries, but I beat the boss again after finding it. And then I felt so, just a sense of accomplishment because I'm like, I finally uh, really 100% in this game. And for me to do that and take the time 
I mean, you know it's an amazing game if I'm just stopping everything else I'm doing just to play. So Cathedral is just one of those games that's great. And it's up for pre-order right now. It it really did grab me, like, immediately. Actually, I set one of these up. You can just go Cathedral, and it'll post a link to it. Um, Um, (laughs) I have learned very much about the robots and such. I've been setting all kinds of fun things up. I actually wanted to say, JP, speaking of Maverick Hunter, was talking about the... uh, Pictures I was of about the retro robot. I was gonna say, do you think you want to go grab those for me? So yeah, we just I... showed off. These are the retro editions for Demon's Tear yeah. and Robot Name Fight. JP's got. Oh my god! Look at that! Look at that beautiful go. Super Nintendo style. Oh, oh, absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. It's it came out perfect, and you know. It's funny, I actually have another one that I don't know if I should show because it's technically the Retro Fighter variant of their Retro Edition, and I figured let them, you know, reveal it, but that one came out awesome as well. You could see it up on their website. Um, they did an NES-style landscape or a portrait where we did the Super Nintendo, but, I mean, it's great because one thing that, you know, I've only shown the outside, but, you know, obviously we know that the game is inside, but the other piece... For the for the retro is the soundtrack CD. Oh, look um, at that! It came out, it came out awesome. And there's, there's 17 tracks. It's about 22 minutes long. You know, just awesome artwork inside. If you can take a look at that. And then of course when you open it up, you know, there's a little insert. And you know we're premium. We're not going to just do like a front little image. So you have this uh, artwork as well, which just it just came out great. I, lo- so, I love that artwork. Justin did such a good job on it. Justin yeah. Siebel absolutely killed that art. I loved it. Right, and so, I don't know if everyone... Yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. Go for it. No, go for it. You're all good. I was going to say, the, the other item is, with Robot, it's also the Steelbook. Um, <sighs> you know, the Steelbook, just another... And I don't know if you've shared the story yet of how the Steelbook came to be, but <laughs> to talk about it. Yeah, I oh, actually... Cool. Yeah, my, my, my famous... Um, galaxy note s pen drawings that's actually where the idea for this came from and i'll tell you i am not an artist i am a lot of things but an artist is definitely not one of them um so it's beautiful (laughs) to see what literally came as like a scribble and idea to see that brought to fruition with erica me and her worked really closely getting these things set up and helping to kind of to build what it is and what it became, and it's so cool to see that we were able to turn it into something awesome like that. Oh, there's it's... one other. Thing. Sorry, yeah. there's one other thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if everybody knows, but with uh, Demon Slayer Plus, it'll come outside the box, but there's oversized character stat cards, so they come shrink wrapped. There's eight of them, and it's pretty much you know when you pause, when you go to the the character shop or you you know in the menu, you can see what their attributes are, their starting ones. So we have them for all eight characters. And again, it's just something that really came out really nice. Um, so that's going to be included with the retro edition. So be on the lookout when you open your box. You're going to get that nice retro SNES box and a whole stack of uh, character stat cards. Oof, I love the cards. That's so cool. Now, uh, you want to, uh, I know you just said it in chat, but let's say it out loud. Second chance sale, huh? Uh, I have a few details we're still ironing out. Of course, we actually of just- course. We just recorded our episode 100 of the Switch Mania Playcast with Jeff and Barry. So we did talk about it a little bit, and I think that video, that audio is going to go up in a day or two. But with our second chance sale, we've had a lot of people who said, oh, I missed out on, on Robot Name Fight. I missed out on Demon's Tear. Are you going to have another opportunity to do so? And I can confidently say, yes, we are. We're going to most likely put it up right after Series 3 pre orders close, so around December 17th, 18th. And we're going to have a set number, which we're still trying to finalize. So it's not going to be a lot. It may be similar to our Black Friday sale that we just had, where, you know, 20, 50 copies of the retro editions go up. Um, but, yeah, be on the lookout. If you're, you know, if you're listening now, you're going to know about it. If you're in our Discord, our email blast, we're going to make sure everybody's aware of what time it starts and exactly how many are going to be on the site. But, yeah, and we may even put up a few left of our Pigeon Dev. So, you know, even going back to Series 1 in case you're just learning about us now. But it's coming. So if you missed out, don't go to eBay just yet. You know, hold out because you may have another chance. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So listen to that, Nintendo fan. you got to keep your eyes and your ears open because you're going to have a chance. Same thing to uh, Vinyl Medics. That means if you're still looking for some of that, you know, Series 2 is when we really were able to be like, actually, they did... They, they, they moved like crazy 
So a, a second chance sales way would be like, listen, we told you guys we were serious, and you realized we were serious, but you get one more <laughs> chance. One more. One more. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So let's switch on over to my capture card and get some uh, get some some awesome. of that cathedral goodness going. Love the music. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love the music in this good game. Good. Oh Little man, I love uh, premium nice. <laughs> yeah, that, everyone knows the premium knight. He's everyone's yep. favorite. Oh, what's that now? Man, this like... just like brings me back to those early stages when you're, you're playing and you, you see items like that orb and you're just like, how do I get to it? Mm -hmm. and, and it's just one of those games where later in the game, I mean, at hour 30, I'm still going back. I mean, that map that you just showed really quick is going to expand ginormously. I mean, yeah, like crazy. There's like 600 rooms i believe in total so this map i mean yeah you can zoom out it's going to fill up and you don't realize it now but you're going to be jumping back and forth and there's easy ways to you know to teleport and kind of go through towns later on but i mean there's just so much and it's it's amazing going back to the early stages when you're really kind of overpowered and it's like oh this is a little bit easier in it now i can get to that area i couldn't get to before uh yeah, it, 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 it's an absolutely massive world. It's so fun. Like it's and I, I one of my favorite as someone who's a very big Metroidvania fan, um, it's very cool to see a Metroidvania that has some really inventive progression power ups and stuff like that, rather than just your usual like Metroid derivative kind of things. That's right. one of my favorite parts about it is a lot of the things that you get that help you progress are a cool take on. The kind of stuff you would usually see in a metroidvania styled game mm -hmm. i think what's great about this one also is just you know you can you can swing you can block but i love the jumping mechanic and jumping you know and hitting down with the sword kind of bouncing on the enemies mm -hmm. because it really you know you get good at that and you'd be surprised areas that you can get to early on that you may not necessarily should have been able to but with a little bit of luck and timing, it's like, oh, I just got to, you know, that chest that I couldn't get to. I unlocked this power-up. And, yeah, I mean, it, it offers a lot of opportunities and, and various gameplay styles. And I definitely was practicing a lot with jumping on the enemies. Because especially at boss battles, it makes it a little bit easier when you're above them and they can't necessarily hit you. Oh, yeah. When it was me and Barry taking down that first boss, I uh, very liberally used the jump slash. Yep. Oh, so that I, I gotta get myself back in the mood because I forgot how like hard this game yeah. is at times. I'm already oh. at one health. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> forgot I think you can bounce on top of that too. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah you can. Yep. That that'll help definitely. Like, like slowly coming back. It feels yeah, you know, because I finished this I believe right before uh series three pre order started, so it's been it's been a few weeks, but I had such a blast with it. I mean, it really was one of those games where it's 11 at night, midnight, and I just I just can't stop. I want to keep going, especially with the bosses. I would die a lot, but it's always that one more time. Just try one more time. Oh, big time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, even now, like, I remember I remember that column and how you get past it, and you're not going to be getting past it for a while right now. It, it's just, oh, it's... no. Oh, I went <laughs> straight down. This kind of remind me of Kadash a bit on the Turbo Graphics. Oh, that's never a bad thing to be reminded of the Turbo that's Graphics. A, that's, just a, that's a that's a deep take. I love that. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. We got a boom, boom, boom. All right, we got that. Cool. One thing, you know, the one thing, and I'll uh, it's a tip for someone who hasn't played Cathedral yet, and I didn't realize this until the very end of the game when Jeff had told me, but. You obviously can put your money in the bank so that way every time you die the way that you kind of have a, another life is it takes a percentage of of your earnings that you have like your coins but i didn't realize that if you had zero you could still keep going i honestly thought i hit zero and that'd be the end of the game so there was a time where i'm just dying on this boss over and over and i'm dwindling all of this money that i found and he's like why don't you just put it in the bank you know have it at zero and then you know come back to it and use it to buy something i'm thinking i didn't know i could do that well, we're gonna nice. get to see a little bit of the uh, the famous Frank Wood uh, namesake here. Some of that. Wait, it's just me again. Oh, it, <laughs> uh, we we can't say that word on stream. That'll get us banned. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let me move that alert so I can see 
see it. Thank you, Gore TTV. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I gotta put that on top. That alert box is a little too high. That goes on top of like everything, so people can see that. Cool. Anyways, Reminds let me get back to that. Warriors and warriors. Yeah. You're alive. I'm glad I didn't kill you. Accidentally, of course. I, I didn't really mean for you to fall. I'm, uh, I'm sure we can put it behind us. Uh, before we know it, uh, but we'll be uh, looking back and laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> See? Ah, uh, the stoic response. You gotta let. <laughs> he, he goes I'll straight for the, the slash. I'll be the knight. Mm, okay, <laughs> <It's> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Hey, I know, I know. I can make it up to you. Uh, you seem to be lost in this place. But uh, I might have found a way to get out of here. I need to show you something. There he goes. And he's off. Bye. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, come up here whenever you're ready. <laughs> we're gonna run. Oh, oh, okay, no, I guess. <laughs> I guess <laughs> we're, when he says whenever you're ready means when I'm ready in reality. <laughs> I, like how, I like how you're like, you know what, I'm gonna go somewhere else. And he's like, no, you're not. He's like, mm -mm, no. Oh, man. I remember that. This orb that I, uh, found in the layer before, <laughs> it reacts to this door somehow. Watch this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> it fits so perfectly in this door. Dimitri, don't worry. When we do the giveaway, I'm going to do a raffle through the, um through the Twitch chat, so you'll be able to enter. Neat trick, huh? I've been toying with it since you left. It seems to only want to sit in that one slot. I bet we can find more info somewhere. Maybe if uh, we can find it down. I promise not to push you off any buildings anymore if I can come along. Premium edition action figures of JP, Jeff, and Barry, please. Oh my god. Nintendo fan. I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had our, our on the first stream. May it rest in peace. Uh, we talked about so many different <laughs> weird merch ideas. It was a great time. Uh, uh, I actually did it. Yes. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> what were you I was gonna say, to um, yeah, one thing that we have, we have a team member that has the ability to kind of like screen print and put things on. So he made us a little, like a demo carrying case for the cartridges with the premium edition logo on it. Ooh. There's, uh, He made Joy-Con shells for Robot that Jeff claimed first. But yeah, it's a, uh, I, I definitely think we need t-shirts, right? We need to make it available somewhere. So maybe start coming up with some designs and things like that. But action figures would be interesting. I never saw myself as an action figure, but as long as it comes with like a Switch game or something <laughs> as an accessory, I'm good. Right, yeah, just a little mini Switch game. That would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what do I? Uh, oh, okay, duh. Ah, see, I had a gotta learn brain that. part. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. This this track is so good. This one in particular. Oh wait, we got treasure. I can't hear the music, but you can though. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I think because I'm not. Um, it's not coming through the one you're watching. Um, you should be able to oh, hear wow. it through the stream, though. Yes, yes. Like, on so, the actual... Oh, no! Oh, no! 666! Six, six. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it was a sign. Isn't that... Yeah, because that... Climbing back up the cathedral, that's the first thing I do here, right? You remember, JP? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you need to go back to that area, which is nice because you're not too far from where you were. No, But yeah. one, thing, one thing I didn't utilize that you can on the map is you can mark things down. So if you know there's something that you got to get back to, you can put a mark to remind yourself because there was a good chunk, maybe like three quarters of the way through where I just could not remember where to go. And I, I'm not trying to use, you know, walkthroughs anymore that much when I'm playing the first time. But there was, I was just kind of like wandering, like I got to be able to go somewhere. So one thing that helps is, you look at your map and you kind of see the gray areas of, of the rooms and areas you haven't been to before. And I'm like, okay, let me go back to there. Maybe now I can get past it. And that definitely did help. Yeah, I, marking in these kinds of games is something that, like, I'm always so glad they have, but I never use. And I really should. Like, 
Oh, what the heck? Yeah. That guy teleported right on top of me. Yes, he will. Pretty sure you're supposed to go to the town and learn of the sword, right? Because the forest lets the ghost guy get some powers for the cathedral. Hmm. Alright, sure. We're, we're gonna try going. You talk to anybody in? You talk to anybody in the town? Yeah, yet? I talked to a ton of people in the town. I remember hearing about where it says there's the uh, the sword deep within the forest. Okay. You visited the library? Yes, I did. I can start collecting them books. The secret yeah. bank of the books. Oh. And also, there's the sewer in town that... What's interesting about that is that's that's your, in my mind, the progression tracker. Because yep. you can keep going further and further once you unlock more abilities. And every time you go back, it's just like, oh, I can get further. And then you eventually you get to the end and you're just like, oh my gosh, I actually did it. Well, that's right, what you me, and, me and Barry were talking about that. How there's a, a, a dungeon that fulfills a similar, um, yes. similar thing in Phenotopia. With that first dungeon, you can keep going back there and finding all kinds of stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, I was, re you know, I started up again Phenotopia, and the same thing, I, I beat the first boss, and I'm just like, why can't I get any further? I thought I found all, you know, everything I needed to, and then I realized, oh, I'm meant to come back later in the game. Oh, no! Come on, I should have watched that. <laughs> need a, a count up top of how many times Frank meets his end. Right. Oh, it'll be a lot. This game is not easy, and I have a tendency to, no. like... I'd rather do things fast than anything, so <laughs> I tend to die a lot. <laughs> but when I do beat it, it looks great. <laughs> I will say, the, the one interesting thing about this game is that I have no idea how I would get so far if I didn't find everything, because it always felt like, oh, you find more hearts, you get, you know, better armor. I should kind of be knocking it out of the park with this game. But it always felt that the enemies just matched where I was, and I'm just thinking, if I didn't have any of this stuff, I probably would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah, it, it, it's not an easy game by any means. It's, no. it's a rough one. Like, I'm a, bit of a, I'm a bit of a capital G gamer, and, like, even I have problems with some of this, this game. Yeah. Oh, no! Okay, okay, we're good. It's that <laughs> Reaper, man. That Reaper is rough. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, I have uh, a hunch. Uh, uh. Ah, yeah. ah, there you go. Yes. I'm. It may be a bias, but between Cathedral and Infernax, which one do you like more? I haven't played Infernax. I saw it's up for pre-order, so I pre-ordered it, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> it looks interesting, though. So, yeah, I, mean, I haven't even heard of that. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, I can in a minute. Heck yeah. Just, all right, let's learn about Infernax for a minute. Uh, do, do, do. All right, here we go. For an X, which is currently up for pre-order, um, it is a... Let's learn about it. It is Infernax. Using a revolutionary, or at least it was back in 1988, leveling system, Infernax is an old-school adventure platformer game with puzzle elements. It's a whole new innovative style, and since nobody has ever done anything of the like, we'll name it ourselves. ARPG, which stands for Awesomely Radical Playing Game. Patent pending. <laughs> All kidding aside, we tried to capture the essence of the games that left the mark on our childhoods, the ones who lit up the spark that made us want to make games of our own. This is a recreation of the experience we had growing up playing obscure NES games, the kind of game that left you with a feeling of accomplishment once you beat it several months after the initial purchase. That was from LRG's website. Nice, okay, yeah. that's who's doing it. Yeah, they're doing. They're distributing the U.S. release, and so it's through their website, but the Peggy version is going to be at retail through Merge Games. Cool. But slightly, okay. different, slightly different cover art, slightly different goodies packaged inside the case. Uh, but it is going to be available worldwide, uh, and it is up for pre-order now. So I'll check it out when it comes, you know, when it gets released. But for now, I'm going to have to be biased and say Cathedral's the better game because oh, I know sure. that one. <laughs> I uh, th there was one of those games that I basically did a similar thing. It happened to be an LRG game that was on uh, it was on their website at the same time as something else that I was getting. But I ended up yeah. really freaking liking it. It was uh, Panzer Paladin. That game was oh, so yeah. freaking fun. I had no idea how much fun that game was, like, on the reels. This is like a Sega game from the Genesis. I mean, yeah, it's a little, 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 little uh, what is it, Bloodlines-esque, you know? A little bit mm -hmm. of that goodness. So I gotta know, JP, how many Switch games do you have total? And I saw you were hunting the Disney Classics Collection booklet. Did you ever see the Super Nintendo Aladdin one yet? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, so two questions in there. How many games do I have? 
I'm not, I'm not, you know, skirting the answer. I honestly don't know because what happened was <laughs> when I first started collecting, I did what any normal person would do. I put it into an Excel spreadsheet and it had a number and I knew exactly how many I had. And then it got to the point where I just got so tired of trying to keep this updated that I just stopped because I ended up being a day one buyer. So for the most part, my weekly release post that I put on my website, I know what's coming out. But if I had to give a bar napkin guess, maybe over 1500 at this point oh with variants and, and international releases and things like that i mean it's it's a lot i just i really don't know uh, but the other question was the the disney classics so yes i i think mine was the nintendo the n version i did see someone post the s version but i only saw the cover i finally saw someone post jungle book and i have not seen anyone post lion king yet i'm still hunting um but i don't know how much more patient i can be because I just want all of them, but I don't necessarily want to spend, you know, $30 on the game three more times and hopefully know what, what uh, manual's inside, but it'll be mine eventually. I'll find a way. So, so, so what's the, uh, so what different, ver does it have a random manual? Yeah. Yeah. So what they did is it's, it's randomized and there's no way to tell from the outside. So the packaging is the same. Uh, the back, like the barcodes are all the same. There's no like variant numbers. And there's a manual, there's one of four manuals. You're either going to get the Aladdin Nintendo manual, which is all, you know, Aladdin, Aladdin Sega Genesis version, uh, Jungle Book, or Lion King. And with the with the Aladdin, it's really hard to tell through, because I, I'll back up. What some people have been doing, they keep it sealed, right? They go to the store and they kind of peek through it. And you can tell that if it's Jungle Book, there's like a green Ooh. border, but... But the Aladdin is the exact same cover minus an N and S on the front, which is like way down on like centered. So there's no way to know. And I'm guessing the Lion King is also a different color. So probably three out of the four you can easily get if you go to a store and kind of just peek through. But yeah, I'm uh, I don't I'm, I like that there's variant manuals. I just don't like that it's kind of impossible to know what you're getting. That makes it very difficult. Yeah, that's a little Typical bit of a pain thing. in the yeah. butt. Yeah. How many Switch games exist? A lot. Uh, I actually don't know the exact number. One thing I'd recommend is there is a Discord a channel called NS Discord. They are keeping a running Google Doc list. I think every day a game comes out, they're adding it worldwide. Um, so I would, we can, I'll find the link later and maybe share it again on, on Twitter. But there's a lot of games, uh, that's for sure. I mean, you know, even not counting my variants, I have to believe we're like over a thousand at this point or close to it we and got a, uh, we got a first chatter um so sweet it says somebody from italy i think it was italy received the lion king one uh and that's the thing people were asking is this you know exclusive to retailers and i and it's no because we have seen you know at best buy different ones and then i saw a target you know somebody was posting the jungle book one but to my knowledge it was not retail exclusives it was just random one of four random manuals and it's uh and what one thing i've been doing that i think is the easiest way aside from just asking people online is ebay right if somebody sells it used they tend to open up the case and show what manual you're gonna get so i was trying to go that route but right now nobody's nobody's selling it on ebay so yeah this one this one's a little stress for uh variant collectors crazy variant collectors you people are mad yeah. you're all crazy <laughs> I did just learn that there's a sixth Slide Star cover, which is the I don't know if you're familiar with the Slide Star game, Frank, but it's about 20 YouTubers from around the world mm -hmm. are in this game, and it's a whole bunch of like mini games and kind of like party, party like competition <laughs> games. Yeah. So, so in the U.S., we had a generic boy and girl kind of cartoony cover, and then in Germany there was a YouTuber on the cover. In the U.K. there was one, and I think Belgium had two. So there was five covers that I was aware of. And then all of a sudden, my friend, who also is a variant collector the other day, posted on Twitter. He goes, oh, JP, how many of these do you have? And he posted two of them. And I had I had one. I had never seen the other one. I posted my picture of five. And I'm like, great, now there's a sixth one that exists. So, of course, my mind goes into overdrive going like, where is this one? And how did I not know about it? And long story short, it turns out that the UK cover got a second printing with this new one that he had. But apparently no retailers got the updated artwork. So on their websites, it's still showing the original one. But apparently when you order it, you'll get this. It, it looks like ours. It's the boy and girl, except they're real with their names on the cover. So that's the uh, the sixth variant. And it will be mine soon. 
Ugh. You're not um, reading Crow? Maybe you can succeed where I have failed. There's a town not far from me called Ivystone Ridge. <laughs> Maybe you've already come across it. There's a spirit mage that resides in Ivystone. Pyro. Ask Pyro about the Magnus apparatus. There we go. It's like, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Right? <laughs> I love how he, when he asks you if you have it, and he's like, no, that would be too, that would be way too convenient. There's no way. Oh, those bats, I hate. I hate, Dude, I hate those bats with all my heart and soul. Oh my god, they're the worst. Just come right at you. Further line, paranoid. Yeah, if you talk about me, Dimitri, absolutely. I, I get very crazy when it comes to variants. I learn about something, I'm just, the first instinct is like, I gotta find where it exists. And hopefully it's in an area that'll ship to me. Oh, there you go. Look what, look what he just brought up. Nice. The Okinawa Get your rush. Okinawa wash. Yeah, ah, it's downstairs. I, I did. I was actually showing this off. I got one of these from... Uh, this is the VGNY soft, so the ESRB oh one. Gosh. But they made a select number of these really cool wooden um, little standees, like multi-pieces. multi, multi pieces, So it's like a front, middle, and back that you insert. And I did get the one from Pixel Heart as well, so I have both of those. Uh, but yeah, I'm... Uh, I, I've heard good things about that game. I kind of have both of the region uh, editions. But yeah, I did pick that one up. <laughs> KNS, I get that so much. KNS goes, I'm so excited for Okinawa Rush, if for no other reason than it's holding up yep. so many of my other games. You get so excited <laughs> for that last one, you know? You're just like, oh my god. Oh, yeah. I commend people who want to save on shipping and, you know, bundle their games. For me, for some reason, I just I I know I, I should because I'm. I'll gonna... go crazy. I'll go crazy. Yeah. I have to. I I spent the like, what is it like four or six dollars shipping on every game because I go crazy yep. otherwise. I need my game and I need it now. <laughs> always, I don't know. This has never happened, but I always just get this like weird like thing in the back of my head that's like, well, what happens if you know company ABC goes under and they only shipped out two of their three games, but my bundle was for all three? I'm never gonna get it. So right? I just exactly. It, oh my gosh, that's such a good. I, that's such a good point. It's not a good point. That's a bad point because it makes you paranoid. Wow. Well. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh I yeah, Dimitri. 20... If I had to spend twenty dollars oh, in yeah. shipping, I would not be doing them one at a time. <laughs> no. That would be a, a break, a game breaker for me. Yeah, I mean, one thing that I do through Play Asia, I get a lot of my imports there, and they have the standard five, six dollars shipping, which I think takes about at this point now two to three weeks. But and then they have this expensive three day shipping, which is about seventeen to twenty dollars. And I used to do the inexpensive because you know two two weeks isn't horrible. But when COVID first started, the two to three weeks went to two to three months, and you don't get tracking. So since that point, I started doing the expedited shipping because they go by FedEx. It's three days from overseas, but it's it's a lot because when when imports come out, you know they don't also. One thing about Play Asia is that if you bundle your games and something sells out while you're waiting on some other game to come in uh, from your order, you're not going to get it. They don't hold it for you. Oh so no! It's kind of, yeah, it's like a first come first serve, even when you pre-order. So I do every game individually just in case. But I'm paying seventeen, eighteen dollars shipping every time. It's crazy. Yeah, because that's I, I hate the the, the uh, moment in time when I'm waiting for my Play Asia like three week window with no ship yeah. or no tracking or anything like. So it's nice to kind of get the game as soon as it comes out, and it's like oh like look look what the game came with, like, especially if it has goodies and you kind of get to see what it looks like yeah. and. Oh, there we go. Yeah, these these upgrades are so vital. There's a uh, there's a big number of them, and actually, fairly confident that on the map it's going to give you a hint where items are, if I'm not mistaken. I think you get an item that does that eventually. I don't yeah. believe I do at the moment, yeah. but the map becomes so vital. Like I didn't realize how often I'm relying in that option to see. Uh... Frank. I hate them. I hate the bats. <laughs> I hate the bats with every part of my being. So, Switch Watch TV coupon gets you 5% off at PlayAsia. Another coupon that gets you uh, the office is Switch Mania. Just saying. Okay, it's my code. But uh, if you do want to save 5% at PlayAsia, Switch Mania at checkout in the coupon code saves you 5% every time. 
Maverick, could you tell me a little bit about um, Trigger Witch? I actually, I keep seeing it, and it looks like something that I might be interested in, but I haven't looked it up yet. Well, let me know, Maverick. That's definitely something that looks like it was okay. up my alley. Do you know anything Thank about you, it, Maverick. Juki? Well, a Trigger Hunter? Trigger Witch? Yeah, even better. Let's see. So this is uh, this is the learning session. We're gonna learn all about these games because, I mean, I you know I pre-order them. I see the trailers, but I never really <laughs> dive into every single one. So let's learn about it. So Trigger Witch. Here we go. Magic and firearms make a deadly combo in this blood splattered take on classic top-down adventure. Recalling the visual style and intuitive gameplay of 16-bit action adventure classics, Trigger Witch puts an ultra-violent spin on cute and colorful pixel art. With a compelling and original narrative, puzzling environments to explore, a dynamic soundtrack, twin-stick shooter mechanics, and a vast array of enemies to blast into smithereens, this is a tale that will grip you from start to bloody finish. From the creators of Reverie, Trigger Witch is a stylized 2D twin-stick action game set in an odd open world where magic is outdated and firearms are the new way of life. Players assume the role of Colette, a prospective graduate from the stock, an academy for witchcraft and triggery, and then open world, classic action adventure, wield and get new upgrade firearms, meet strange and endearing characters, blast monsters back to their rightful place, solve environmental puzzles, overcome obstacles, and you can play solo or multiplayer at any time with drop-in local co-op. Ooh. It's like that a fun game. like a lot of fun, yeah. And it looks, it looks really cool. Oh, man, it... it you're gonna immediately think of like Link to the Past when you see the images. Really cool. Heck yeah. yeah I know. This I, 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 I want to set. Things. I want to set it up so like in situations like this, I had a way that we could like switch the scene and check out, like pull it up really quick and I'll look yep. look at it. I gotta figure out how to do it, but it's a learning cool. experience. <laughs> I'll get there. It'd be cool to be able to just pull something up like that. See, Hawk Ten Ten. Is that is that our Hawk? No, I don't think so. Oh. No, wait. Okay. Barry, is that you? Is that your... I don't know what Barry's Twitch name is. <laughs> see Hawk, and I'm like, anywhere I see Hawk, it's Of course it's me. There it is. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. So Barry says, Trigger Witch is amazing. It's a twin stick link to the past. Yep. Not terribly long, but well worth your time. See, I like that. When the game is not terribly long, and I know that going in, it makes it more of an incentive for me to say, you know what, I think I can actually play through this and not feel like I'm going to get to a certain point and never have time again. to be here to support you why thank you great to have you here well it'll be really fun the day we can have a bunch of us on here it's just it's just like the premium brady bunch boxes what is this item up here something ah you just get a new power up yeah i don't know what it is i can't ability i should say well maybe not yeah no i got the um i got the spirit ability which is one of my favorites I have another favorite, but it's way down the way. But it comes in, it comes in handy so much that I just, yeah, I hadn't stopped using it once I uh, unlocked it. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil. Took me about five or six hours. I'm guessing that's for trigger. Which nice, that's not too bad. You can see the Brady Bunch boxes with you guys in it before your direct. That would be one day we're gonna have to do a musical direct. Oh my God, please. <laughs> Now, I can't say my singing is good at all and anyone would want to hear it, but I just think it would be so funny to kind of have that kind of style to it. So Barry is our writer for for the direct, so he's got to start coming up with the musical lyrics now. He, are you up to that? Are you up to that, Barry? You ready for the... Listen, yeah, you can hit me up. I love musicals, so you feel free to hit me up. Like, there you go. It'd be funny. Right, I'm there not you go. sure where I'm going now. I got the I, I I whatever I gotta do. I know it has to do with using the spirit ability to unlock. That's my next progression. But I think I have to check my dead ends. Yeah. Looks like you're back in town. Uh, Ivy Stone. Doesn't it feel good to kind of like be walking around town? You're like, I'm not gonna die right now. This is great. Nice and peaceful. Say hey, thank you, Maverick Hunter. I do enjoy doing myself some voice acting, especially when I'm doing shows. Nice. Saw the karaoke video, JP. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> you know, if you saw that, Frank, years years ago, like 2012, I think, I 
took Shanna away for a weekend and they had karaoke at the restaurant we were at. And it was at a time in my life where I'm like, you know, I'm just going to start saying yes to things and trying things. So I did a Bruno Mars song and she recorded it and it was horrible. We put it up on YouTube on my like personal channel, got like 10 views. And then I posted it again like a month or so ago. I've never seen so many like negative, you know, like downward. Uh, oh, no. Not, not good. <laughs> so I'm like, at least people are watching it for at least a second. So, you know, got some activity. Ooh, I got the uh, I got my uh, potion upgrade, and I got the uh, upgrade that lets you start with four four hearts instead of three when you die. That'll be really helpful. Every time you go to a town, it's so important to buy the upgrades and make sure you have the money for it. You're a bit scary, aren't you? I think it's Frank? a whole day with it being not talking thing. Maybe you should say something. Just like that, my good friend. Still a bit scary. It's all about you gotta make a face when you do a particular voice. I don't know why it works so well, but you gotta. Poor I'm gonna bro. need to play I'm gonna need to play a visual novel with you. It's just all text. Oh god, I would have quite the time. <laughs> Cockney Cartman. Oh my gosh. You can find the shrine, I'm sure you can't just walk straight into it. I don't know much about it, but there's someone who does. My uncle Tamtis spent many years. Tamtis. I'm happy my parents didn't pop me out and go, Ah, yes! I'm going to name my son Tamtis! <laughs> I'm very I I'm grateful for that. I don't understand why his uncle never shared any of these things with him, that this kid's not more well-versed in what's going on. He's like, I don't know, but my uncle does. And right? my uncle spent many years not sharing anything with the family. Love those save points. They come in handy so much. Oh yeah, big time. This right here was always good before a battle. I felt that whenever oh, I boost? got boost. Yeah, yeah, because it gives you a, a couple extra hearts, right? Like max. Oh yeah. No is it, what? I always... Is it until yeah, you it, die, period, or is it until those hearts go down? And so pretty much what happens is you get the boost, and those are the hearts that get knocked out first. So, you know, if you have five, you're going to get, I think, double that. And you go into a battle, and you start losing those before you get to your red ones. But then once you lose it, and you, you know, you die and you start again, you go back to your normal level of hearts. So it's like a one-time thing. And they don't, they would, I don't believe they regenerate, so you can't, you know, find a heart to, to boot, like, to get those back up. You have to go back to the guy or to the inn to get more boosts. Oh my god, those things that explode. Oh, I yeah. forgot they explode! I... No! Say... Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, that was infuriating. Oh my god. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to see. Frank's just going to lose it. We're going to see. This Twitch has been canceled. Oh, dude. That was, that was, that made me so mad. I was immediately upset. Those are the ones that you can, I have, I think it's three times and then you kind of just move away and let them explode. Okay, three times. That's the scene. Think One, three. Two, Let's three. see. Oh, oh maybe I guess four. Oh, you're up to five. Maybe you know. Maybe when you get a stronger sword. There you go. Yeah, that's what it is. I feel like One, the animation on it though. Three, four, five, six. What? Oh my goodness. I think it's six. I am slacking. I need to get stronger. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't the price go up the more you use it? Price goes up the more hearts you have. Yep. Uh, the books. It's so important to find those books. Oh, yeah, big time. How do I... You don't. Okay, yeah, you gotta come from the other side, okay. I love it when they tease. You know there's something there, but you just can't get to it just yet. Gold is so important in this game. Big time. It's always good. I mean, it's so good to go... But that's, that's what one thing that's nice about going back to the previous <gasps> areas. Yeah, it's always so nice the, just getting some more money because it really, there's so many good uses for money and there's so many good upgrades in this game. Yeah. What's nice is one of the uh, one of the things that you can get is the percentage decreaser. So every time you die right now, Frank's losing 10% of his gold, but you can knock that down when you find, you know, when um, you get further into the game. That helps as well. You don't lose the money as, as fast as before. Oh my goodness. 
just watching him, just like, you got this. It's definitely, I, I like this one because it makes me try. Like, I'm used yeah. to, obviously RPGs are hard, but I'm used to playing turn-based RPGs on stream, which is a whole yep. different kind of thing other than like, compared to skill-based. Cause I could think and take my time and make like an informed decision. Not, not this game, no, no sir. This game is like, hurry up, press the button, go. <laughs> the one thing that always got me in the graveyard was the hand coming up from the ground. I just I, every fucking it. time. Oh my God, yeah. they make me so mad. They, just people cur learn, there's so many things that just make me like, overwhelmingly upset in this game like i get so i don't often get mad at games but this game i'm like oh <laughs> i think it's because i can identify exactly why i died and i can't blame it on the game that's why <laughs> oh, i hear you it's your grade two right here typically also see these before boss battles as well Nope, okay. you're not going there just yet. No, I was going to check if there's anything higher up that I might have missed before I head out of this room. Because I'm assuming that means that there's a boss coming up, so. Yeah. But bosses are what I'm good at, so. I missed the one comment from Barry. He said that I think the goal of the directs is to gain customers, not scare them away. LOL. Oh, <laughs> yeah, with the... Uh, We're singing. Yeah, We're no singing, exactly. Barry's horse is a sing-a-thon. I will say, though, there is a game that we had seen. I don't know if you had seen this one, Frank, and of course now I'm blanking on the name, but the whole game is like a musical. So it's a platformer, kind of, you know, like old school platformer, but as you're playing, narration is singing, it's songs. Oh my and it's God, like, you know, the cool. hero woke up, then he went left, and then he gets it's like, oh, he got hit again, and, and the whole game is like that. And, I mean, I'll, I'll say, like, we reached out to the dev, and I, for whatever reason, I don't think they were interested right now, but that game is so funny because in the trailer, you know, they're doing the singing, but then when he's underwater, you just hear like the gargled sound, like whoa, 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 like they're still trying to sing while underwater, and I'm thinking that's so creative. That's, that's I like that idea. That's wonderful. Oh, they do two damage. Okay, mm. that's wonderful. I thought Spikes did one damage, but I guess not. That's okay. So now, all right. So we got the heals. We got the uh, we got the save point. Let's see. Uh oh, here we go. Taking the sip. You gotta say, listen, listen, my friends. All, all of my wonderful premium edition friends in here, remember, stay hydrated. It's very important. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Yeah. I didn't realize how bright. I feel like there's this, this glow behind me. I need to. Nope, other side. There's like this glow behind me, and I'm just like, I can't block it. I'm, I'm gonna get better at this, people. I promise. Oh, trust me, my, my setup has ha, has months of tweaking behind it. It definitely, it's a process. It doesn't just happen, so don't feel bad. We'll, you'll, we'll get you there, JP. We'll be doing Thank this you. more and more and having a good time with it, so. Portal rooms are like a godsend when you get to them. Yeah, they really freaking are. This is really just one of those games where you don't want to go too fast because you're going to miss so many things and... There's so much replayability going back to the areas. I was actually thinking, damn, JP, you have a nice place. Oh, well, thank you. This is our, this is my bedroom. <laughs> I, I wanted to record downstairs where the Switch games are, but for whatever reason, I have the worst, uh, like, Wi-Fi connectivity in the house down there. So I just, you know, I freeze and up. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, this is where I work. I kind of work in my bedroom now ever since COVID started, but there's nothing behind me. You know, I, you know family one photos day, are great. No switch one, stuff. One day we'll have to figure out how to get you in there. That would be such a good background. You no, know, I used to like, there was a few times I would do like, uh, like I was a guest on a podcast or we had a meeting and I would have the switch collection behind me and everyone was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, I love, yeah, I'm proud of the collection, but you just can't hear anything. And then it freezes and then, you know, what fun is that? So another book you got it yes oh, yeah, go back up here i forget if the gold piece spawns or not but if it does it's gone but i'm gonna check dang it i've been playing a lot of uh rogue legacy 2 lately and that's mm -hmm. what I, I love that the gold does not despawn until you leave the room in that game because i can spend all the time i need to to get there through there yeah, well, you gotta go get that scroll <laughs> wait what where back up okay hold on I 
not a Cena. Yeah, it's to your right. Yeah. Oh, okay, I can jump up that way. Nice. nice. Oh, nice. A piece of the map. I love that. Especially when you unlock, then you can see the whole that whole mm -hmm. area, and you're, you're like, like, oh my, oh gosh, my right. gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, even you know, look, this is us playing the game for like an hour and a half. Like, there's already a ton of stuff. You'd think it's intimidating, but it, to me, it was just like, oh, this is kind of awesome. I mean, there's so many areas. And then, you know, the, the area is like, you see it, like one area is pretty big, but overall, I mean, the game can go very fast. Get there yet? I think, is this, do I got to go down and go yeah. that way? Okay, because... If you go I to think... the map, do you see any, like, slits where it looks like there's an opening? Yeah, no, I tried going this way. Maybe I'll try oh, yeah. going up or to the left then, because it looks like, I think that's the area that I need the gargoyle um, yep. key to open, I believe. I could yep. be wrong, but... Always good to replenish. I think though that you get hit by that and you're like, well, I'm already hurt. Let me just go down anyway. Right, exactly. Yep. Maverick Hunter oh. says, "Are you guys as excited as me for the record of Lotus War Deed Lit and Wonder Labyrinth? I grew up with that anime in Symphony of the Night. I played the Japanese Super Nintendo games and Dreamcast game, and this one just screams awesome. Um, yeah. I am super excited for that game. Um, I think it looks fantastic. I love how much it is just like like no." We really, really like Symphony of the Night around here. And I'm like, all right, I I'm about that life. It signed me up. Like, <laughs> Maverick, the question is, are you going with the Red Art or the Japanese release? Because Japanese, I think, is coming out this month, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I went for the ESRB one myself. Oh, yeah, then, yeah. I don't know how long that'll have me waiting, but I'll be Which waiting. Which is interesting. I mean, that is uh, Red Art Games' first uh, ESRB release as well. Which is really interesting that they... Uh, they now oh, Maverick, that. you have both of them pre-ordered? Nice. Good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you're doing JP proud. I gotta do three versions, because I go for all of Red Art, so that's the Peggy. I gotta get the ESRB, because obviously North American. And then the Japanese, I'm gonna get sooner, so... Yeah. I mean, the covers, I think, are all the same this time around, so... There's no variant there. It's just more of an impatience and a full set thing. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. You jumped down yet? Over, uh, over the well. Oh, you. Can... Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, cool. This is what I was talking about. So this is the sewer. So little by little, you'll keep progressing further and further. No. Oh, oh, okay. I gotta break. Did you just break way. a block? Ah, this is, to me, this was a really fun area because it's obviously just lots of treasure, lots of loot, and can only go so far every, you know, as you keep progressing through the game. So it, it welcomes you to keep coming back. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, so that's a lot of money. To put that in the bank. I'm not, yeah. I'm not fiscally responsible, but in this game, you got to put it in the bank. You can see, like, already you're going to get stuck at a certain spot, so you're going to yeah. have to come back. Now, do you know how to break that, though? No, I don't. I don't think you got... Is that looks like something I, I could break with a fire technique? Man. You will be back. But see, this is what's fun. It's like, oh, I just got a nice little boost of gold. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm going to go deposit that right away. Like, that, that'll be great. Oh, uh, Maverick, I read and speak Japanese, LOL. I lived there for a while. Well, enough to get through a game these days, at least. Oh, I was told I speak like an old man when I live there. You know what, though? That's impressive. I always wanted to learn Japanese. Same. One, to understand anime when it wasn't subtitled or dubbed. But two, there's so many games that don't get translated, and it's like, I kind of really wish I knew the language. Tried the Google, uh, like, translate with the, the phone, kind of like hovering over the text so it could convert it, but it just wasn't that accurate. All that money. There's all that money, baby. I think this knight would be like, I'll help you. No, yeah. He, I, I like how he makes the comment about how much you look alike. I like one of the guys, he asks you if you used to run around with a shovel. 
Yep. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. Like, wait a minute, didn't you used to run around with the shovel? And you're like, uh. Shh, you want to get sued? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> the shovel you know. guys will let anything oh. go in their game. They love it. Oh. So one thing to remember is, as you keep getting these books, go visit the guy in the library again mm -hmm. to, you know, redeem them or return them, I guess return them. Well, me and Barry were talking about how it kind of functions as like a secret bank almost, because, oh. uh, you know, you, even if you die, you don't actually lose your books. Right. I don't know how many, how I can see how many I have, but... Yeah, that, that, that's a nice little idea that you, that's kind of basically a debt-proof bank for you until you need them. Oh, yeah. And it definitely pays off to, to find them all and, and encourages you to look in every area, jump just a little bit higher just to see if there's anything there. Some of them, you know, some of them are very, very transparent and you can see exactly where they are. And others, sometimes you just have to, you know, go that extra little bit off the screen maybe to see another area that you didn't know about before. Everyone cool. just got nice and full at Rings giving. Oh, that's awesome. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Jeff. Man. Jeff, I'm, I'm on something. It's more than just the playcast. I did it. I made time. I got him on it. Yeah. It's like I've been trying for weeks to get him on, and Frank just goes, hey, come join. I got this way with words. What can I say? It is amazing. There Every time go. you unlock a new ability... It just starts opening up the game more and more, and well, it, it's very... Oh. I, I think one of the things that does so well for this game's longevity is that what, what a lot of games do is you get this progression upgrade, and it's cool, but it unlocks, like, one path, you know? I, I, yep. I think one of the things that Cathedral does best is that when you get something, there's, like, three different ways you could go, you know? There's, like, yeah. treasure, upgrades, and then the main path. So, really, if you're, like keeping everything in mind and running around and stuff like that you can find so many items and so many like so much extra time just trying to kind of be like oh yeah i could go this way and i could do that like very cool yep. it's always a, it, it's a good feeling when you when you break block and you're like oh my gosh a new way i can go now yeah just like that i mean it's, it's just game I feel makes me a better player for other games because it opens my eyes to be like, you really should be looking at everything. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> Just disappear. <laughs> there you go. I tried. All right, we can't go Jeff, what have you been up to on this Saturday? Friendsgiving is always so much fun. I love doing a Thanksgiving with just the buddies. Ever oh. have a turducken? A turducken? Oh my gosh, no. Yeah. What is that? Is that the the turkey wrapped in something, right? That was stuffed. Stuffed. Isn't that like one stuffed in a duck, stuffed in something else? It's yeah, not really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. My friend made it because I don't trust myself, but. Oh, it was Jeff, you've been working on manuals today? Ooh. I may have I may have known that, so <laughs> I, I want him to share. See, when you come onto the live stream, you get to learn stuff. Right. Turkey, duck, chicken. Oh, my God. I thought they only made dog food like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. These jumps. You got this. I feel so good when you get there. I love uh, Spirit as a... Um progression item he's so fun oh yeah and there's more that he does later on that i just love Ooh, that's awesome i didn't know that like i said i it's haven't gotten like, too, too far in this game what i really like is that this game it i mean even after 35 hours it never overstays its welcome and it always stays fresh i mean like like revisiting the areas when you get the power-ups and things like that it always makes it fun to come back because especially now you've already gone through areas where you're like oh i just can't get through it yet or like those like the gold blocks like you get there and that's something that comes later in the game and especially all those like all the grayed out ones those are abilities you're going to be unlocking as you go and it's awesome wow the cathedral is 44 pages wow like wow that is, that is definitely our biggest manual to date 
I'm chomping That's at the so bit cool. to have those two retros in my hands this month. Yeah, so Maverick, we thought shipping, I mean, maybe even we can check afterwards, but we thought shipping was going to happen on Friday, but it's been, it's been crazy with shipping. So we definitely think at this point it's going to be early next week that shipping should start going out for any orders that had the retro editions or anything else in hand. If it's tied to the deluxe edition, unfortunately, it's not shipping just yet. But if you had just the retros, you should be seeing them. Uh, they should be on their way very soon. They're ready to go, at least. So feels great to say that, too, because I feel like with Series 2, everything just sped up. You know, we kind of started getting our, our what, what's the right word? Like our footing there, or grounding yeah, yeah. From, from Series 1. You know, we learned a lot from Series 1 in terms of the shipping and handling and things. And now with Series 2, I mean, we closed pre-orders, if you remember, on july 15th and we're you know in december we've already shipped the standard editions and now the retros are going i mean to me that's that's record fast especially for a new company and and it feels great to say like wow we've got four games out already i mean that's awesome yeah i can't believe how quickly we're improving our, like, two, our production times series? and everything like that i say series three jeff yeah series two shipping i'm just so excited i'm, I'm jumping into the future Oh, series 3 shipping, I I can't wait for that either. I mean, pre-orders are still going on now, but it's just three amazing games that I can't wait for everyone to be playing. Cathedral. Come on. So he says, see, okay, Maverick. Yes, I got that. The retro robot name fight from you guys and Demon's Tear from Bizarre Bizarre. I also have all three new ones pre-ordered. Thank you. Literally, you guys are gods to me and my family, lol. Can I get Cathedral? So you can pre-order it. That, that one is up on our website to pre-order, the Standard Edition. The Retro did sell out uh, as of now, so the Standard is available for pre-order. For Bizarre Bazaar, uh, their copies are going to be shipping very soon. So, you know, we start shipping to our customers and at the same time. We're shipping to any of our, our store partners or international partners. So while they may, you may have to wait, you know, just like an extra week or two for them to get their copies in, theirs are going to be going as well at the same time. So yeah, if, uh, wherever you pre-ordered, it should be, uh, it shouldn't be too much longer. Where I could have sworn I had sold equipped. I'm not sure. Oh no, did went, you? Because now it's not letting me use hey, them. I think when you went to the shrine and we were looking at it, you may have, maybe you unclicked them. Maybe I could probably still yeah. press and get it. Oh, uh, that's annoying. I did that I, I, by total mistake. Yeah, I won't try and spoil anything, but what's interesting is that you can only have one ability equipped at a time. So it becomes, you know, a kind of like a give and take of I need soul or I need something else later. But I will say just have patience because it does pay off in the end. Then you deposited that money. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I will. So, yeah, we're actually, we're at 503. So, let me set up the next game. Awesome. All right, Jeff said, well, I also packaged up all the challenge and unboxing patches today. Oh, that's right. That's awesome. So, anyone who's been taking part of our premium unboxing or premium challenge, your patches are going to be coming. Nice. Hope Actually, everyone's been doing it. I gotta go potty really quick. I'm sorry. I'll be ready. Oh, no, you're leaving me I'm entertained. No, I'll try my best. Maybe now's a good time for everyone listening that if you haven't done these challenges or unboxings to get these patches, which are awesome, let me show you what they look like. For instance, there are... Here's the mouth meat. And that's for a robot named Fight. That's your challenge patch for completing the challenge. And then you have Super Shopper for Demon's Tier. So these, these are our Series 2 premium challenge patches you open up the case there's a card inside and on the back is a challenge for you to beat in the game you take a picture of it post it to social media and we will mail these to you while they're still available and jeff is the one who's personally mailing every single one of these out so he wants to send them out he wants them out of his house so i highly recommend doing that the other option you have and these are really cool it's unboxing patches so even if you've opened the game already and you haven't done this just a quick video you can talk it's great to hear your thoughts and comments or just share a video unboxing our games this is series one so if you have super blood hockey or pigeon dev games collection you do a quick unboxing where you show all the items you post it email us we're going to mail you this patch for free for series two and i mail you this unboxing patch so demon's tier plus and robot name fight 
unbox it, post it anywhere on social media. This is the patch. Look how awesome this is. Does anyone know where this logo inspiration came from? This is the one that Jeff wants to mail out to you. So lots of opportunities for really cool patches. Frank's back, and we're going to jump into our next game. Absolutely. A little, a little commercial. Right. Let's see here. Let me get... That's me JP. Get I think we just lost people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Close that. This one's a little different. I had to, I had to do a little fighting to get this to work, but I'm glad I did. At least the way I wanted it to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wait, stop! I need to put this on first. Oh man, Sunshine Manor. I'm excited because I actually haven't gotten the chance to play this at all yet. This is good. What's nice is, you know, the game officially released on Steam. It's being worked on now to come over to Switch, so it shouldn't be too much longer. The same with Camp Sunshine. Uh, and what's interesting is Camp Sunshine was their first game. Sunshine Manor is their second, but it's actually a prequel to Camp Sunshine. I'm excited. Really? I mean, yeah. I think this game is going to be fantastic. I'll read the quick little blurb. Um, here we go. Halloween 1980, the front doors are open, so step inside the old Aitken house and guide Ada on her journey through both the human world and the terrifying demon realm. Find out what events unfurled that led to the Camp Sunshine Massacre in 1986. So this is this game takes place six years before Camp Sunshine. It's awesome. Nice. Yeah, so I will say the, the developers, Fossil Games, they were going to be here today. They had something come up at the last minute. So we will have them on eventually. Kind of do like a live Q&A, hopefully, as, as we play through Sunshine Manor and Camp Sunshine. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited because these are just fun retro inspired games. The developers are huge horror buffs, which you really will see as you play through the games. You'll get little nods to old horror movies and things like that. So they had a blast with this one, and, and it's going to show. All right. Let's, oh, wait, my you gotta read. Got you gotta weird. read, Frank. I know, I know. Our, our mics got weird, but I figured it out. Um, okay, let's... thank you. Well, this thank is you. all we have time for this week, my friends. <laughs> oh, my, my mic, that's what's going on. My controller kept dying. I was like, why am I having control issues? Oh, but no. All you gotta do is plug that bad boy in, and you're good to go. Tune in again next week for another episode of The Sunshine Hour! Atkin, we need to talk. The viewing figures are down again this week. We just can't waste our time and money on this. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm really trying my best. I really am. It's entirely possible that your best isn't good enough, Atkin. I don't know what I'd do without the sunshine hour. I was meant to do this. <laughs> well, Mr. Aiken, we shall be watching you over the next few weeks. If your <laughs> figures don't improve, then I'm afraid you will have to look elsewhere. Frank, someone's asking if you're reading this or if it's the actual voiceover. No, that's me reading, baby. Amazing, man. I mean, I'm, I'm watching you and I'm thinking... Those are two different voices. <laughs> You're so talented. Why, thank you. Let's see, how can I... Is that how I can... Okay. I'm just... I, I have to do some uh, some Bye. fun some, some fun loopholes to get everything to work the way I'd like it to right now. <laughs> uh, hey, it's a learning process. Exactly. Are they reading or is this actual VA? Oh, my God. Oh, look! A fortune teller! Let's see what my future has in store! Now, JP, I want you to be the fortune teller. Oh my god, alright. <clears throat> I, I apologize in advance, everyone. Welcome! Come inside! Oh, you're welcome to meet with Madam Chumana! Chumana. <laughs> Thank you! I was hoping you could give me some guidance! Mana knows all, Mr. Aitken. I don't know why I'm doing this high-pitched voice. It's beautiful. Well, how? <laughs> how? How did you know my name? Scrolled across on the tech. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I see your name in lights, Mr. Aitken. 
I see fame, fortune, and more. Really? That's what I want. It's all I've ever wanted. You can have it all. Tell me how. I'll do anything. Oh my god. Four ninety nine. Buy this DLC pack. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look inside my crystal ball. Receive all. You must first give all. And then take all two! Do we have an agreement? Uh, yes, of course! Anything! Your this voice is not gonna it. end well. <laughs> oh. 8th Look, of it's... July, 1973. Thank you! Thank you! That's it for another week, my friend! I cannot thank you enough! You have made my dreams come true, and definitely not a demonic pact with the devil. <laughs> You've done it, Clement. We're top of the heap. Your son must be so proud of you. You really have that magic touch. Uh, yes, a magic touch. <laughs> the Sunshine Manor. Hey, that's the name of the game. Halloween, 1976. I can't get... I, I really... When he gets <laughs> sad and I have to do that... I can't keep doing this! I know I wanted everything, but... You have received... Oh, okay, hold on. This is... I got I got the perfect voice uh, here. Is, wait, this wait, is wait. me now. No, no, no. This is... This might be a Fire demon... Me? So let me let me let me uh let me go hard on it oh. here. You have received all, Mr. Aitken. <laughs> all of your dreams of fame and fortune are now a reality. But once again. Oh wait, it changed dang it, that's not the, the sound I wanted. It changed my sounds off, and now I just sound like I'm singing. <laughs> But yeah. once again, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can't give me a, oh, a better voice there. <laughs> the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm not gonna mess with that then. That was so good. I I kind of like the singing. <laughs> well, at least I'll, <laughs> I'll always at least. They never get rid of it. They never get rid of this voice. So I'll always have this. <laughs> but once again, your payment is due. <laughs> I oh I God. can't resist. Oh my I God! I not racist. <laughs> Daddy, can we go trick or treating tonight? <laughs> Daddy. Oh no. Daddy, what's wrong? <laughs> oh my god. Stop! Miss Rankin, stop! I can't stop! I must keep what I have! Dispatch, we have multiple counts of what looks to be homicide. Your spirit may open the door to him. I must obey. Oh my goodness. We need to talk to Paul and get some voice acting in this game now. Halloween, 1980. Oh man, your name has been a bust! This, this is you, JP. Yeah, I've only got an apple and a halfie and Tootsie Roll. How about this you, me? Ada? <laughs> oh, uh, you know what, JP? Yeah, you gotta be Ada because everyone says that Ada is like the female JP. Oh god. <laughs> I've got nothing but this bit of paper. Oh. <laughs> awesome guy gave me that. Thank God. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. You sure we have to do this, Betty? Dimitri, you don't want to hear the Toad voice. We're doing um, Super Mario RPG right now on my show, and I have done a lot of... Hello! <laughs> 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 You sure we have to do this, Betty? Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, that that, that pains me. But, but, what if these but. stories are true? You could be the uh, the witch. All right. Really think that Mr. Sunshine himself killed all those people? Yeah, I guess you're right. They wouldn't keep showing reruns of the show if he did. Plus, it's been years since all that happened. Exactly. So go knock on. Go on, Ada, knock on the door. I dare you. Why don't you do it? She's got a point there, Betty. Why don't you do it? Um, it's, it's alphabetical. Ada does it first, then me, then you, Wendy. Oh, Ada, you first. Actually, to start this out, let me do... I'm going to actually start the giveaway that we're doing here. One second. Let me... Yes. Do, 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 do. Where's my giveaway? Just do my theme song. Do, 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 do. JP Switch Mania. <laughs> giveaway. Digital code is not the prize, but it won't let me do anything else. Okay, so if you guys type in um, explanation point giveaway, you guys will be entered into the giveaway for the uh, the physical pin. It's not a digital code. I don't know why it made me pick that, but it is what <laughs> it is. So, exclamation point giveaway. Enter, yes. <coughs> I thought it sounded like Miss Garrett from the Facts of Life. Girls, <laughs> girls, girls. Okay, let's see here. I see you trying to sneak some candy. The game begins. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Whoa, the door opened. So know your own strength. We're gonna get so much! Trouble. Now! Can we go inside? There's no harm in having a little look around, is there? A little B&E's never a bad idea on Halloween. Yeah, the occasional Halloween b and &E. No <laughs> big deal. Well, this is a bit spooky. Why are all the lamps turning on and off? Oh my god, that <laughs> voice. Yeah, this is weird. It makes like something in your throat vibrate and it's just uncomfortable in the best way. Like, Teen Girl Squad. Jeff, I love you for that. I'm gonna be grounded for life! Teen Girl Squad! <laughs> oh my god. I have such a deep love for Homestar Runner, so I appreciate this. Maybe we should go. Hold on. Hold on. So do you think this is where it <laughs> happened? Take a little look over here. Come on, this way. Because I've been here before, apparently. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Betty! Hold on, actually, wait. Betty! I mean, I had to make it a little er musical for you guys. Betty, run! So that's why that didn't work. Okay, I figured out why one of my things wasn't working. Now I know. Let's go Let's inhaler, go. bros. Ha <laughs> you guys, only the super RPG friends know of the glory of super inhaler, Frank. Uh, here, actually, I could shoot out that mid tweet, mid show tweet right now. Bada bing, bada boom, drop out the link tree, drop out the stats, drop out the super RPG friends, letting everybody know all the various things going down. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, that's right. You like that, JP? I did that all from my stream deck. <laughs> I've been learning so much stuff from all the stream and stuff. It's so fun. There's so many possibilities and fun things we can do for interaction. It's great. You can't get out. There's something blocking the door. Andy, watch out. Ah! <laughs> Eddie? Eddie? Where are you? 
the hell was that? How am I going to get out? Why am I asking all these questions? I can't take this. <laughs> to literally no one. <laughs> it feels like my head is going to explode. Oh my god. Ooh, we got that magic abilities. You could be you could be crazy right, hold ghost. on, hold on, let's see. Let's see what I got here. I'm sure I got a voice for this. Bum, bum. Where did it go? Who's he gonna be? Bro oh, JP appeared. <laughs> Whoa! I've never seen him hurt like that. Oh my god, that is me! The resemblance is uncanny. Sorry, guys. I broke character. What the? A ghost? Wait. You can see me? I have glasses. Oh man, come on, Ada. Think straight. You've got to get out of here. No. No. Don't go. You're the first person who has been able to see us in years. Do you mean there are more of you? Yes. <laughs> We've been waiting for someone like you, and now you're finally here. Tell me how you did that. What? Oops. Said what? There we go. That power thing. It looks like he was hurt when he got close to you. It was close to me? That thing took my friends! Oh no! If he's doing that again, then the payment must be due. That ghost child is so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Your friends are still alive, for now at least. I can sense them here. Where are they? How do I save them? We've been trying to figure that out for years, but he has us trapped here. But you, you're special. I'm special, but I'm a nobody. I just collect Switch games. <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you can't, but with you and your power, Stand a chance at stopping him <laughs> so and rescuing your friends, then we can all be free. <laughs> Let's try using that power again, shall we? We're definitely going to need that. I'll summon one of my toys. Let's see if you can blast it. You have to wait for it to enter the psychic circle, then let go. Whatever is in the circle when you release will take a hit. Let's give it a go. Whoa! That was awesome! Whatever that is, he absolutely hates it. <laughs> let it go. Or you, Dimitri, you need this? Let it go. Let it go. That's all you're getting out of me. <laughs> if he comes for you, and he will, use it on him. You might even be able to... <laughs> Dimitri with the no. Be able to use that power to move quick when you're in danger. We need you to rescue us, and in turn, we will help you save your friends. Please help us. I'm making sure to see if I can't. Okay, so that's the most <laughs> I can do for that. Okay. I was making sure if there wasn't anything. Don't forget, slash, type in um, explanation mark giveaway if you guys want to enter the giveaway that we're doing for an unmarked pigeon dev enamel pin. We need you to rescue us, and in turn, we will help you save your friends. 
please help us. So I help you. Search for us. We're hiding in the manor. Call for us and we will appear. If we're hiding, watch out for furniture moving. It's usually a clue. If you use that power, I'm sure my friends would come out and say, hello. Oh no, he's coming. I have to go. Hey, hey. Look for us. We have to hide from him. Help us, and together, we can stop him. Uh, what does the trembling text mean in game? Is it fear, trembling voice, or just important text? I think it's a trembling voice. That or musical, if, if my interpretation <laughs> yeah, is to be, be uh, believed. Musical. <laughs> musical. Let's go trick-or-treating, Ada, they said. We'll get loads of candy, Ada, they said. Bunch of liars. Right? Ooh, nice power. So how does that... To the okay, mirror. Okay, so it refills. Yes. Oh, save. Oh my god, what? Oh no, what'd you do? What the heck? Uh-oh. Why does it work like that? Oh no! <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh, this is... That's ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna skip through this really quick. Um, no, well, what happened? While we do that, because I, I, I don't know, JP, that was the, uh, it loaded the blank save, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> I saw three saves, right, guys. indeed. <clears throat> Take two. See you later, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, reset. Oh, no. Note to developer. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, three. Shouldn't be able to, uh, load a empty save. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think we're actually, while we do that, I don't think we're going to get any more. Let's close the giveaway. Yes, entries have stopped. Pick winner. Yeah. Maverick Hunter! Woo! Speak up! Check. Yeah, Maverick, send us a, um, send us a DM on uh, Twitter, preferably, yes. or Discord, whatever. I know you have me on a bunch of places, but send me your address, and we will get that sent out to you. Oh, I just caught... Oh. Paul, Paul messaged me, the developer said, I just caught that bit of the stream. He said, Frank had quit highlighted. Did I? Oh, okay. Alright. So we're gonna blame Frank. That's fine. <laughs> Say, thanks for letting us know. Thanks for letting us know. This is Paul from Fossil Games. Can't wait to have him on. I think it, I'm curious to see how he would have rated our performance. I mean, yours is, you know, 10 out of 10. Listen, JP, you're the self-insert, okay? Whatever you do. True. If anyone wanted I, I, Fem JP, this is the game to have it in. True. Yeah, I'm going to get a game where I'm hopefully like a, like, a, like a skin of the character. You could pick the glasses and crazy switch shirt or whatever. Oh, they probably get sued. I wish. That would be great. God, Crazy, I love the it? pixel art. They, they, yeah. I, if, Paul, if you're still here, your guys' your pixel art is so on point. Like the animations are so nice. It's like, it's like nicely chunky. I think that's the word. Like, because there, there's obviously like the overworld sprites and stuff. But when they do the like the Ninja Gaiden esque like NES cutscenes, it looks so freaking good. Oh my god. <laughs> Paul was like, "All good." I almost screamed, "No!" We're gonna make sure what? I don't do that again. <laughs> I also love the Super Nintendo controller. That's me too. Oh, people. you know it. I love it. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, like, you could. I just feel like you go to a Blockbuster, and this is the game you just pick out for the Super NES. It just, it'd be right at home on it. I, I love that the door is really open. open. Like, it's just been pushed in, just waiting for somebody to knock on it. I know, cause look, it's like off its hinges and everything, like. What? We gotta get some more gifts. I love the little dancing girl from Phenotopia that we have, but I need we need yeah. to hit them up and be like, I need transparent gifts. 
then you, whenever we contact people that we knew, and you need to send us transparent gifts for the stream, thank you very much. <laughs> You sure did, Maverick. Very nice. Very nice. Cleaning up my kids' room and heard this. <coughs> oh, gee, thank you. Oh, I am quite familiar with having the cleanup. We had we had to have a babysitter come because uh, Shanna had a book event. So we're just like, we wake up in the morning, we're like, oh my god, what happened to like the play area? And we're just like, a complete stranger's coming into the house, just frantically trying to make things look neat. Maybe it's not really neat, but it looks neat if you quickly glance. So, yeah, cleaning up after kids is a, a job in itself. Good lord, it is. I'm currently, I know it's not quite the same, but my dog had to get some antibiotics and I didn't have pill pockets, so I just like threw it in there with some wet food. So now mm -hmm. we're on a two day streak of my dog deciding he only eats wet food. Oh, it's a lot of fun. He's decided <laughs> that clearly two days of wet food means that that's the only thing he'll eat. All right. Do not break the train. I will now though. Hold on. Damn. There we go. Remember, don't quit. I will not. <laughs> Look, you know, I gotta say, it's not too bad. You know, once you've read through it, it'll take like three minutes to get back to where we were, so that's not bad for an intro at all. No, definitely not. There oh, so we you go. Okay. I must have yeah, I, 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 I must yeah. have fat thumbed up by mistake. That's what I would get. I remember PS1 Final Fantasy 7. You know, you pick save or load, and you pick the wrong one, and you're just like, oh my god, what did I just do? Oh, I love the kind of games where you can check, like, everything. Yep. I think that's one of my favorite things about, like, uh, Undertale and Deltarune, is that they really do have that old-school RPG. Like, every single thing has some kind of a description or something like yep. that. I think what's great is also... Like you exploring everything, you're gonna see nods to other '80s horror tropes, things like that. So it really pays to to take your time and, and look at everything. Go 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 go! Oh my goodness! Okay, no. Uh, uh. I think I'll go to bed, but I don't know if I miss any more giveaway. Well, I think this was the only giveaway we were doing today. It's true. Okay, so that doesn't look like. What time is it by you? I guess is you're probably a couple it hours ahead. It is 5.30 here. No, I meant for Dimitri. Oh, oh my goodness. This feels like the, uh, does that do anything to me? This, you know what this gives me vibes of? It gives me Super Metroid vibes. Like, mm. remember when you get the, uh, the morph ball and that mm. one thing, like, shines the light on you and the alarm plays and you're just, oh, okay. I figured out what this does. So what this does oh, is once it touches me, it saps my psychic power. Yep. So let's say uh, if I'm in a room with one of those, um, I'm going to have to dodge that if I want to actually hit people with my psychic powers because that completely X's it out. Yeah. It brings it down to zero. So that now I know. Good. Nice little dash. Ooh, a little psychic dash, one could say. Yep. Do. Hey, very open, like right from the beginning too. Yeah, yeah, I, I agreed. I, I love that it, it's not really railroading me at all. Yeah. It's just kind of like here, yeah, explore, have fun. Like this is a horrible mansion, and people have been murdered here. Um, so having that limited view makes me so nervous because it's like I just feel like you're gonna get to an area where you just see something that you wouldn't. You know, normally, like, if you went to a room and the whole thing was lit, you'd say, like, oh, okay, it's something in the corner. But here, it's more like you're going to see it at the last second. Oh, the food's oh. going crazy. Huh? Can I interact? Okay, cool, uh, cool. Oh, oh you remember? Zut! You found me! Just to make it a quick go! Oh, you're not the him! Let's start again, shall we? Bonjour, mon ami. Oh, I guess that's French and I'm doing Italian, but I can't really do a <laughs> French like accent. What are you doing in my kitchen? Sorry if I caught you off a of guard. Kitchen? Sorry, but who are you? 
Well, you see, I'm the cook. Somebody has to keep the Aitken family well fed. They're all dead. No, you're a ghost, right? Me? A ghost? Not a chance. I'm a four-star mission in the ship. I think I'd know if I was a ghost. No, Frank is a four-star Michelin chef. You're a ghost. That's true. <laughs> I met one of your friends earlier, and I think I meant to help you cross over. Help me? Help me? I couldn't possibly think about that until I've found my trusty spatula. Ooh, a quest. I mean... Maybe yeah, oh, a quest. I could find it for you. Oui, oui, I'll go fetch it for me, and I'll have a room to think about why I have an Italian accent, but I use a French language. <laughs> okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> Let's see. It's a few old business cards. They're bone colored, and I think the font is Siley and Rail. That is fucking specific. I, I just, like, I want to put it out there that I appreciate how much attention to detail Ada has about fonts on a business card. Like. Absolutely. She's, she's well. Well versed. Yeah, well versed. It's one of them fake drawers. <laughs> I hate those fake drawers. It's one of them fake video game drawers. <laughs> Don't quit. That's going to be no, just a yeah, running that... mirror joke. Oh, absolutely. All right. So, okay. So, that's not it. Let's see. Do, 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 do I have a map? No, I don't. Okay. That means I got to remember, which isn't bad. No. <coughs> that would be really handy for a game like this. Strategy guide. Deluxe Edition Strategy Guide? Oh. Yep. I don't know if everybody's familiar with, with uh, our Sunshine Anthology to begin with. But oh my god, no, it's him! Oh, yes. oh god! <laughs> He's asleep. Oh, look at him. What a sweet baby. <laughs> He's just taking a nap. Oh my god. A save has an infinite mirror effect? Mamma mia. Nothing ever bad happens on the second floor. Oh, God. A nice rug. It is a nice rug. I was supposed to get a rug, a new rug today, actually, but it didn't come. Well, uh, and... Ah. Hmm, this is just <laughs> gibberish. A little bee? I, I almost, for a second, I was like, wait a minute, is that Super Nintendo button commands? Until I saw the eye. Like, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, no, look who it is. Look who it is. This is a familiar friend, isn't it? I think we'll never see him again. Nope, never. He's definitely not in a whole different game. No, no. Game system. Which game it's, system is that? It should be a Nintendo. Oh, that's an Atari all day. I'm like, this is, takes place in, what, 80? Excuse me, I would like to play Yar's Revenge. Where can I imagine, find that? Imagine if you go and there's games. An Wait. extendable grabber arm? I've always wanted those. Can you use it? Um, let's... I'm not sure. There's. I'm sure maybe it's a context-sensitive thing. Oh, that's cool. Look, you can turn the light on, and it becomes its nice. own... Light source. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Does it diminish over time or it just stayed on? No, it looks like it just stays on. Maybe there's like, um, mm -hmm. what would it be? Maybe there's like torches or like, uh, yeah. you know, like a lantern that might just, just uh, diminish over time, but it looks like that just mm -hmm. stays. I think what's really cool about Sunshine Manor is that this was actually our first Kickstarter that we partnered with. So Fossil Games put this up for a Kickstarter, you know, successfully got funded, and we attached ourselves to do the physical to include Camp Sunshine on it. So 
the Kickstarter edition, you know, has been closed. It went to backer kit for a while, and then we'll do our standard version with a, a retro edition, and we'll see about doing, you know, a deluxe because we are making a guide already for it through the Kickstarter edition. But yeah, I'm excited because um, I don't know if everyone is familiar, but our you know Kickstarter version, like the deluxe edition, is going to be in a VHS like clamshell type of case. So cool. I think that's going to be really cool, yeah. Hey, thank you, Vinyl. Thank you so much for stopping by, my man. Um, we're super excited about Phenotopia, too. I can't wait. We will probably do a little bit more Phenotopia on stream next week, too. But thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate thank you. you. Dimitri, thank you so much as well for stopping by. We seriously, it means the world to see you and have you guys come in, hang out with us, get to know the team and everything like that. It really does mean the world. So thank you, both of you guys. Thank you so much for thank coming you. out. Why is this, why is this clock hanging over the balcony? Uh oh, can this you try is, and break it with your, wait, can is, you try and break it with your power up? Here, let's see. Hold on. I got to save this back up. <laughs> Too far. Like it, yeah. Something's going to happen okay, with that so, clock. Though. So this feels very like original Resident Evil style yeah. in the way that it's oh. just like, okay, here's a big area, you know, like, figure it out. You know, it kind of puts it up to you to figure out um, the order yeah. of things to do. It's nice not being railroaded. Um, so I'm, I'm totally about that. I just got to figure out what I actually got to do next. I find the spatula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're keeping our eyes open for a spatula. We're looking for anything that's shaking so we could possibly hit it with a psychic attack and figure out if there's a ghost in it. Mm -hmm. This is a huge man. man yeah, up. this is big. This is really big. This, okay, so I'm back in the main area. <coughs> you like that the save seems to be plentiful, which is nice. Yeah, agreed. No needing to find any uh, ribbon ink or uh, typewriter or anything like that. Thank God. <laughs> oh, look, I think I found... Oh, I found the spatula! That's exactly where I would have put it. In the in the old project car? Uh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, chef's downtime, he's fixing up an old car. Feel accomplished. It's like our first quest. Look how good you already know where to go. Let's see. I to get to the kitchen. I know, yeah. He was over on the left somewhere. That's what I remember. Mm. He was in, like, the northwest corner. We'll say, if we came back to the room and that bear was gone, I'd be freaking out. Uh, you're, I agree completely. I'm sure... JP, listen, at some point, I have a strong feeling that bear will be gone, so. <laughs> we have psychic powers involved, so. That's right. Did I run past it? Hmm. Kitchen disappeared. Oh, that's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. Hmm. You go down the level? Yeah, that's what I was going to try doing, going down. For everyone watching, this is good, because you're going to know exactly where to go now. Right. Mm. And you will be very happy that you have some direction in this game, because like, it's definitely one of those games that tests your memory. I will say, though, that for the guide, I really hope that throughout the, throughout the book, an old an old tape i can use that with the v with the uh the cd oh. player sure did oh wait this is all you baby sure did now can we talk about what is going on here uh, yes uh, yes uh you mentioned uh, something about uh, me being a ghost yes you're a ghost and you're stuck here now that you mention it I didn't think it was a strange how I couldn't actually touch anything and none of my ingredients or my uh, ragu. 
<laughs> the last thing I can remember is Mr. Aitken being angry over a failed souffle. Oh no, a help me! What? What's wrong? I know where I am, and they want to let me go. You have to save me. It's the time for you to see this house as it really is. I said, this offends me. Is that my my voice acting? Because I no, apologize. That's that that's my favorite Super RPG friend, Bunny. I know what he's at. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Why is Ada so confused? Come and find me on the other side. I'm waiting for you. Oh, hang on. I feel funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm coming <laughs> with her, I guess. Finally, you're awake. You have to help me. Oh my. You're chained up. You're hanging over a pot? Yes. I've been hanging over here waiting for someone to rescue me. Every once in a while, a gluttonous demon stops by and forces me to cook awful food. He has the key to the chains. Find the key and free me so I can cross over. But be careful. I have seen some weird and wonderful things wandering through here. You'll need to keep your distance or use those psychic powers to banish them. But watch out for the big one. They can't see you, but they can hear you, and their knives are sharp. Did you turn Russian? You have like a Russian accent now. I'm I my my, my worst thing about my accents is that they turn into other con uh, other accents. Does he force <laughs> the chef to cook awful food, or is the chef just awful at cooking? That's a good oh. question, honestly. Don't worry, sir. I'll help you. All right. I like this music. It's got kind of Genesis vibes a little bit. Like, with the, the low bass. Not quite like the Genesis sound chip that is very iconic, but like, I like it. Now, what do I, what can I do? Okay, I can kill him. Okay. I stomp on those. Ooh, so bloody. Right? Ugh. <laughs> Thing looks bad here. Okay, yeah, so those guys take two shots. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Yeah, the character designs are crazy in this game. Did that even hurt him? I don't know. But did that actually do, like, damage to the... the uh... <laughs> The floor. Oh, that's so cool! Yes, it did! I like that. That is so cool. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. A big pot. Oh, yeah. That's a big pot of bones and blood. This game reminds me of Zombies Ate My Neighbors in terms of... I think that's a good... Yeah, it, it's got that nice, like, kind of gory mm. top-down, but it has the NES aesthetic instead of the Super Nintendo aesthetic. I think that's a really good comparison to draw. I'm sure there was some um, inspiration drawn from titles like that. Mm. Oh no, what the f Oh my god! Oh, I hated that! What the hell? Oh no! Oh, I did not enjoy that. Not even a literal bit. So like, and now I gotta go past it again. Ugh. Oh my god. Lots of bones in this area. But he's not doing the dishes. Oh my god. I can't possibly talk right now. The glutton is furious in our necks all the line. Sure you'll be okay. You're pretty far away. Maverick Hunter, I think you mean I can't wait to pre-order some kind of deluxe edition of this for the Switch. Thank you very much. Anyway, <laughs> if you haven't heard of this spoken little glory yet, you better. This is his realm. And he's furious. 
Okay, okay. I'll leave you be, Mr. Worry Pants. Hey, what up, Shaz? Thanks for stopping by and chatting, my man. How are you doing hey. tonight? What is with the... I even hear, like, chattering in the background of this. Oh, my God. We're doing really good. This is JP's first time on Twitch. I'm finally... I didn't actually get the chance to play this yet. So I'm really excited to see a little bit about this game I've been talking about for a while now. Um, we're, we're having a great stream. We're, we're probably going another like five, ten minutes before we find a save point, but it's it's doing awesome. I'm having a great time with this. And thank you. Happy to be here, and, and you rock as well. Roll. Rock and JP, you're so cool. I try. This was a blast. I don't think I've ever had more fun playing games than with you, Frank. Aw, sweet baby, my heart. Yeah. I love that. I'm I told gonna you. say though, every every time I play a game, I'm gonna call you up and be like, I just need you to read the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. All right, new goal. We are going to make a game, and you're going to do pretty much 99% of the voiceover. I can do that. I'm down with that. That sounds good to me. Yes. I love the music. It's so, it's so like mm -hmm. that, like that's so cool. Oh my gosh. We actually, we do. We got a save a Rooney here. Wait, I want in on this voice. Listen, I, if we can ever make a game and particularly source our fan base for the voices, I'll do that mm -hmm. all day. Like, I have I, no problems with that. That's a great idea. I haven't shared this publicly, uh, but I am actually going to be part of uh, game development. Really? We are making Sammy the Soft the video game. Real? Oh my god! And, and of course we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna you know release the physical. Of course, of course, of course. I've already talked to Jeff, and I'm like, we're gonna get this on a Switch. Um, I'm sure we'll release some details very soon. Uh, you might even know the developer and the uh, and the artist behind it. But yeah, we're excited. It's 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 happening. We're gonna have our first. Oh, I, I have meeting. some uh, I have some some predictions that I'm gonna keep to myself with that statement. But I'm sure yes. we'll talk about it. We'll talk. I love that idea. But yes, please, I will voice act every horrible thing in that game to the best of my ability. <laughs> Any of my super RPG friends out there, they know that. Uh, <laughs> voice acting is my passion <laughs> oh really? listen it's yeah true. you got nintendo fan excited this is this is true right now i think it's gonna start on like ios you know like a app kind of thing but yeah you better believe that i'm going to do my best to get this onto the switch hopefully playstation most likely this is very early talk because we're still solidifying what the like the gameplay will be but, you know, Shanna's book, Sam and the Sock, is really made for preschool to second grade. So we want to aim for that kind of age range. So it's going to be like an edutainment kind of, you know, we're still kind of thinking, like, is it going to be a, a bunch of, like, different mini games? Is it going to be a platform? Or is it going to, you know, encompass a lot of things? But it's going to be very kid-friendly, very accessible to new gamers, which is what we want. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. And, you know, I'll be definitely be sharing details as we move along. But you heard it here first. We are going to be making a Sam and the Sock game. So it's coming. That's awesome. That that is that's some news I didn't expect to be dropping on you guys today. Yeah, but I yeah. think what you guys can glean from this is that it's very important to catch our weekly stream. We have had yeah. a large variety of uh, unannounced leaks, uh, hidden, <laughs> hidden. What, what's the term? Allusions to things. Uh, there's been a lot of really fun stuff. This is our third stream now, and honestly, I've had an absolutely wonderful time so far with it. We're all really excited to keep doing this, keep doing I, I, I'd love to... Uh, oh, hey, thank you so much for thank following you. Happy Shaz. Thank you so much. It means the world. Um, we're really excited to start doing even more with this Twitch. We would love to do some, like, community game nights. Um, I know I particularly, I would love to do some, like... Some like Monster Hunter Rise with the community, something like that. Yeah. But we would definitely we want to start moving this into being more than once a week. And once we move past once a week, we'll be able to get to become partners 
which will give us even more cool things. I know you all want your actual JP hype button emoji, and that can be a thing that happens. Um, we're working on official assets for the stream, so you guys can have some real instantly recognizable iconic stuff. We're hard at work at all of that. We're working hard to keep bringing you guys this cool, very personable slice of premium and making it as good as humanly possible. Um, we thank you guys so much for coming out. Really, every single one of you guys, we wouldn't be out here living out the dreams. And I made a couple of emotes for the TG and E channel. I don't know why my mind went to Tim and Eric for TG and E, but it's not. That's amazing, though. Oh, Toe Jam and Earl channel. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That would be awesome. Yeah, well, like I said, I definitely, I, I really want to make this a Twitch, I want to make this Twitch channel a real community-oriented place where you guys can get to know us, where you guys can play with us, and you guys can get those beautiful things that we say that maybe we said a little earlier than we should have. <laughs> <laughs> exactly those are the best those are the absolute best um so let's see what can we go over so yeah don't forget if you guys are watching and you haven't followed yet make sure you guys click that follow button you guys getting us a little bit closer to what is this affiliate yeah affiliate getting us a little bit closer to affiliate make sure if you guys haven't already yes honestly vicer has it right follow or else um, yep. Follow or else JP will come and stalk you in the night. It won't be fun. It'll be terrible. All you'll be able to see is that smile from the shadows, and you'll be like, Did I just see something? I don't <laughs> know if I just saw something. <laughs> Why are all my Switch games gone? JP! Oh no, not my Switch games! <laughs> <laughs> you can avoid this fate by simply following. Oh, <laughs> super <laughs> simple. Uh, but yeah, thank you, hey, JP. Thank you so much for coming out. I really hope that we can get you on this some more. I had a great time hanging out with you. I'd really love to get the whole team on here for some stuff. This has been such a good time. I'm really enjoying starting up this Twitch channel, getting to know you guys in the community even more. Thank you guys so much. Maverick Hunter, don't forget to send us a message so we can make sure we can get you guys your prize. Um, every one of you guys will see you here next week. We'll be sure to comment. The second we did, I just dropped in the chat our link tree, which has all of our or, our pre-orders. Our season, our series three pre-order is going until December sixteenth. We are currently out of retro. We're sold out of retro for Cathedral and Phenotopia. We still have retro for Mighty Fight Federation, as well as our awesome trading cards that feature an old school rectangle style, as well as a custom image on the back for your display pleasure. Um, and we also have standards are still open for all three of the games on series three. Um, thank you guys so much, JP. You got anything you'd like to say? Yeah, first I just wanna say, Frank, thanks for setting this up and making our Twitch channel so much fun to to come hang out with and also to be a part of. I'm very honored and it's great that my debut one got to be with you. I had the absolute blast. It's I'm getting to see, you know, the regulars now and getting to interact with everybody and kind of just share the passion together. Uh, just on the personal side, I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting Premium Edition. Whether you just learned about us or you've been with us since Super Blood Hockey, we absolutely appreciate it. If you haven't pre-ordered, you know, the games, as Frank said, head on over to the website. Just lock in your orders now. And yeah, other than that, I mean, it's this is great. It's been such a blast. It's great to be sharing the passion of playing and collecting for the Switch to now publishing and, and getting to share upcoming games like that. So thank you, everybody. I, I hope to see you all again. I definitely will be back. I, I got to do more voiceover. I got to practice now so I could be good next time it's we true. read. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend and look forward to hanging out on social media. Don't forget my friends if you enjoyed watching me you can find me once a week on super rpg friends every thursday at 8 p.m est it is a series where we go through some of the most important rpgs in the entire genre um, we are actually going to be next week we're doing a uh, live show with the vgas so we're going to be talking about the video game awards aka the keelys 
But after that, it'll be our last episode of Super Mario RPG. And after that, we're actually moving on to the Sega Genesis. We're going to be doing Shining Force first, and that's going to be a really good time. So if you guys enjoyed me, if you guys enjoyed the show I put on tonight, please come on out, follow Super RPG Friends. I will drop a link super quick that has all of the Super RPG Friends links. So if you come on out and you guys give me support, it means the world to me. JP, thank you. Chat, thank you. Every single person involved in premium edition games and our success, thank you. We will see you guys next week at some point. Be sure you guys follow us on social media so you guys can find out when, and we'll see you then. You guys have an absolutely fantastic night, and remember, stay hydrated. <laughs>